Hello everybody and welcome back to my fashion studio, oops, aka my living room. I've got a new rail because I didn't trust the other one with the bendiness in the middle. So today I wanted to talk about the wearing versus styling trend that I've seen on Instagram and TikTok because whilst I love it, I find it very satisfying to watch and intriguing and interesting and like inspiring in ways. It also brings out a lot of insecurities in me. And that's a me thing. That's nothing on the creators that make those videos. It's just me projecting. But watching those videos made me realize that I very much wear my clothes. I don't style them, at least to the standards that these very fashionable people are demonstrating. And on the one hand, that is absolutely fine. We can't all be incredible fashionistas and I generally really love the clothes that I own and the way that I style them. And that's all that matters really. However, on the other hand, I love a challenge. So I'm going to try and style some items of clothing rather than just wearing them. But I'm also going to do this whilst being kind to myself because this is not a pass or fail situation. And my understanding is that for the most part, styling is accessorizing or putting on a waistcoat or tucking something in. Like that's all it is really, I don't know. And I don't really feel like I've got a very extensive or versatile accessories collection, but one of the spirals that I can end up going down when I start to feel insecure, especially about things like my style and the clothes that I wear, is that, oh, if I just buy more things, it'll be better, I will feel better. So no, that's not what we're doing here. I'm not buying anything new specifically for this video. We're just using what I got, what I have. What I want to get out of this is just challenging myself to think differently about how I would normally like default to putting outfits together and kind of going a bit out of my comfort zone and maybe putting things together that I wouldn't normally wear, but it's just like a bit of an experiment to see what on earth I come up with. To be honest, my prediction is that this is actually going to be quite hard for me and I'm going to prefer the outfits where I'm just wearing the items rather than styling. So that's what I think going into it, but let's meet the items of clothing that we are going to be wearing and styling. So the main feedback that I got on the video where we went to the big sister swap offices and they did that personal styling session for us, the main thing in the comments, everyone was like, but which clothes did you take? But what things did you end up picking and taking home with you? And I'm so sorry that I didn't give you that information in that video, but Ta-da, here we go, this is them. But that like bespoke styling session that we had in that video is something that you can purchase from them if you're interested in having that yourself. So you're welcome. We were basically their guinea pigs to be like, is this gonna work? And we were like, yes, you should totally do this. So there we go, let's meet the clothes. Okay, so first up is this jacket. I don't actually think this is gonna be one of the items that I'll like wear or style because I don't know, it's outerwear, so this might be what I style or wear something with, I don't know. But I got a couple of wears out of this in the autumn before it then got too cold, but actually it's quite thick, so springtime, we're gonna be busting this one out again. This one, this one was the real winner from the day, but actually I haven't worn it. And that's because it is too big for me and I did get it altered and I got a new like elastic waist put in, but I think I need to go back and get more alterations done because it just doesn't quite fit right. And also the weather, you know, it's been winter, so I also haven't really had an excuse to wear it, but oh, so special. This one, I have actually worn a bunch. I love the way that it makes my boobs look with this cleavage. We've got the slit, so I've been able to show off some of my funky tights. I'm actually really happy about the way that I've been wearing this, so I'm gonna be interested to see like what else I can come up with. Because really, I have like one or two ways that I've been wearing this, so maybe I can come up with something different. This one, I was on the fence about, but I did end up taking, and guess what? Haven't worn it once. But again, it's the wrong season, so I don't know. But this one, I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm excited to see how I would wear this normally and then like how to kind of style it, spruce it up a bit. I don't know, it looks kind of like tennis mum, golf mum, 
on holiday in Florida, but I wanna steer away from that. We'll see. <laughs> these two jumpers have been absolute wins. I have worn these so much this autumn, winter. This gorgeous big red one, and then the like cropped purple lilac key one. You've probably seen me wear these loads in videos and then also like on my Instagram. Big wins. Again, because they're like outerwear, because they're layers, can I style these? I don't know. I feel like these are like the accessories that you style outfits with. We'll see, we shall see. Then this skirt, which has been another real winner this winter, and I've basically just always worn with this jumper. <laughs> and also this jumper I've always worn with this. Like, I don't know, there's, the combos here have been very satisfying. I feel like I have gotten all of the different ways of wearing this that I can think of out of my wardrobe. So I'm gonna take the challenge of trying to figure out a different approach to this skirt. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I don't know. And then these wonderful sunflower shorts, again, haven't worn because wrong season, but they're gorgeous and I'm very excited to bust them out this summer. So yeah, these are the items. I did also get some shoes. I got these trainers, which as you can probably see, I have worn a whole bunch. And then these, which haven't worn at all. But I do have a wedding this summer. So I really have no excuse to wear these heels, but oh my God, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. But again, these are probably going to be part of some styling potentially, but not going to like purposely try and style some white trainers. So the way this is going to work, I think I'm going to take the three dresses and the skirt and the shorts. So five different items. I'm gonna show you how I would wear it normally, how I have been wearing it normally, and then after an attempt at styling it. Styling it, darling. Okay, let's go. Okay, we've zoomed out and we've got a dress on. This actually isn't fitting as badly as I remembered. I think it's just because I would want the like waist to be like slightly higher up where my waist is the smallest, whereas it's kind of sitting a bit lower, but hey. I'm not sure whether the fact that I've already put trainers with this, is this styling? Am I styling it now? I honestly don't know what the remits of styling are. <laughs> but this is me wearing this dress. Putting it on like this though, I'm like, no, I would add things to it. So clearly I do some styling and me thinking I'm not styling is just me being all negative self-talky, but Hannah, you can style things because I would wear like my hoop earrings and I would wear my orange necklace thing. And then obviously I'd wear a bag and have a jacket, obviously, but I wanna try and elevate. But honestly, that's all I can think of. I'm like, is that all there is to style? Like, is this whole video just going to be me realizing that actually I already do style my clothes? And I just have these like deep insecurities because when I style my clothes to look the way that I feel good in, it doesn't look the way that like stereotypically fashionable people look. <laughs> Welcome to this video where Hannah works through her insecurities and realizes that everything is fine and she's grand. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, I'm going to try and do something a bit different with this dress. So I'm going to pick like the next thing. So there's the way that I would style it that's like my go-to, my default, and I'm just gonna try and push myself one step beyond that. That's what the challenge of this video is. Okay, right, let's do it. Okay, this is definitely out of my comfort zone and I think I've gone insane. Let me talk you through. So the first thing I went to was shoes and my like pink platform heels were my third choice. But then as soon as I put them with the red bag, I was like, oh, interesting. Pink and red and yellow. I was like, I'm into it, I'm into it. And then it all sort of just like went downhill from there. So I did my hair in plaits because why not? I don't know, I was feeling like summery and you probably can't see, but the elastic bands are pink. And then I was struggling with accessories. Ah. I was like, oh, do I wear like pinky ready earrings? I maybe should have gone down that route, but that felt too obvious to me. And so instead I was like, why not bring in a whole other color, green? So I put on my like, astronaut space earrings with a bit of green on them. And then for some reason to tie in the space theme, I was like my rocket necklace. Cause I really was feeling like my chest, my neckline was a bit bare and it did need something. I was actually kind of being like oh, a choker, a choker would be good, but 
I don't have any and we're not buying things. So then this happened. <laughs> then I put on this red belt. It was between the, a red one and a brown one. And I went red because of the red. Um, and actually, since fully looking at this dress in the mirror, it definitely is still too big for me. Like it's all like bunching up on the top half. It does need some more tailoring. <laughs> we'll get to that. And then I wanted a pink cardigan. Like I wanted like a pastely pink, like a pink version of this, but not a jumper, like a cropped cardigan. I don't have that. Then I saw this shirt in my wardrobe. This isn't my shirt. This is my friend's. She let me borrow it for a pirate themed family rave that we went to and I keep forgetting to give it her back. And I decided that this will be the layer. Obviously it's now covering up the belt. So the belt is kind of pointless. But I rolled it up. I did a little Britney Spears crop and this is the final result. I don't know what the vision was. I don't think there was any cohesive vision. I wouldn't wear this. At least I don't think I would. I think if I had found a cropped cardi, like a pink cardi, then yeah. Or if it's warm enough to go without an extra layer, then I'll just go out in this. I, I'm not convinced by these accessories with this outfit. I don't know. There's bits I like, there's bits I'm like, I don't understand, Hannah. But there we go. I have styled a dress. Yay. <laughs> okay, next. Okay, item number two. I haven't even bothered putting shoes on for this. This is me wearing a dress. But I have actually worn this dress a lot. The way that I would normally style it is I've been wearing like patterned tights with it and then boots. So either my like high platformy like white ankle boots or my flat like knee high brown boots and then those same just like hoops and the orange <laughs> necklace that I seem to be wearing with everything and then I would layer it with this jumper and then I would do the thing where you like tie your jumper in a bobble at the back to like make it cropped. <laughs> Stylish. So that's how I've been wearing it and I really like that but I think what I'm going to do now is actually try and style this for spring summer because I've just been wearing it with all of those layers and stuff in the winter. So spring, summer, styling of this dress, here we come. Okie dokie. Okay, I'm actually feeling really good about this one. I like it. It feels like different enough that I'm like, well, cool, interesting. Wouldn't have thought to do that. But also it still feels me, which is what we want. I've gone brown tan sandals, do, 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 do. fancy, fancy. And then I remembered I had my white denim jacket and so busted that one out. And then for earrings, I've gone with these kind of like moon sunny mustard white things and then mustard bag to kind of like tie in the mustard here. And I don't know, these aren't mustard, but I don't know, for some reason it goes together. I don't know. And then my hair, I've done a half up, half down do, but I did it with a clip. You know, I have one of these clips and I like never use it, but I do quite like these clips. It's just because like the 90s style and stuff is coming back. That's like the vibe that I get from it. Anyway, I love this. I really love this. I would wear my sunglasses with it. However, I seem to have misplaced my sunglasses and that's the first time that's happened since I got them, which was about six, seven years ago. And yes, I am panicking on the inside. I love those sunglasses. They're the most expensive thing that I own, but the cost per wear, having owned them for seven years. And if I have lost them, but here's my outfit! Crying on the inside. But yeah, I like this a lot. Does this kind of styling? I guess it does. I did it. Wasn't that hard? Next. Hi. Hi. Okay, this one is gonna be a challenge. It feels very blank canvas to me because I haven't worn this yet, so I don't know how I would wear it. And it does confuse me a little. The collar neckline gives me like preppy vibes. The color and the length is very like summer to me like it's a very comfy dress it's a very lovely dress i think it would be an easy one to like dress down with trainers i mean i could even wear my like tennis trainers with this and look cool but we're avoiding the playing sports in florida look i'm like i don't know does it need a belt what shoes what layers what if i winterify it and put like a long sleeved thing underneath no no, no, I'm a bit stumped. We shall see. Just you wait. Right, okay. Well, I'm gonna have a think about this and you're about to see what I do. 
This is a dopamine hit. I feel like a cartoon character version of myself. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Do I need to talk you through this outfit? So I saw my orange shoes and I remembered that I had an orange bag and an orange jacket. And I remember a thing that Sean said, who did my color analysis, which is about monochrome outfits. And she said that you can wear an entire outfit that is just one color and different items can be different shades and tones of that color. But if they are all just still one color, it'll look good. And I didn't believe her. I was like, no, surely. Two different kinds of red, like, don't always look good together. So I thought I would put that theory to the test with a monochrome orange outfit. I even got some orange earrings, although I picked these ones because they've got like a little bit of blue in them. And I tried on some other orange earrings that were just orange. And I don't know, everything then just felt a bit flat. And so having that pop of blue, I don't know, it did, something in my brain and I was like, yes, that. And then I also have this orange and white scrunchie. I did put a brown belt with it, but actually the belt plus my boobs plus the buttons, it just kept scrunching and not like falling right. And I kept on like trying to adjust it. Excuse me bag. So I've just gone with no belt and just like loosey goosey dress. I don't know if this is something that I would actually wear but it is making me happy. I think I would have to be feeling really confident that day, really confident. It would also have to be a non Rowan day because I'm not wearing a side bag and pushing a buggy. Like it has to be a like over the shoulder situation on like childcare days. I also have an orange Chili's water bottle. So it's just all coming together. I'm really happy with this and very surprised. <laughs> I would never have done this if I wasn't challenging myself a bit today. This is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. <laughs> We're going from strength to strength, people. Next, it's skirt time. Okay, so I've been wearing this skirt a lot with this red jumper, so I'm banning the red jumper from this challenge. So this is how I'd normally wear it. I would wear tights, of course, and then some boots. That's kind of the vibe that has been going on with this. So now I need to figure out something else. Basically, I've just been wearing like either black or red tops with it. So I'm kind of thinking I need to go green, but the only green top that I think I have is like a summer crop top. And I don't think I can make this skirt summery because it's very like thickly embroidered. It's black. I don't know, is that possible? Do we try anyway? Let's go. <laughs> Guys, 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 <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Okay, oh my God, you should have seen my face when I was figuring out this outfit. It was like doing like a really difficult like maths equation. And then when I got it, I was just like, oh my goodness. Okay, so I did try the skirt on with my green crop top. And my brain was just like, yeah, the colors match. This is nice. But then I was looking at myself in the mirror and I could not for the life of me think of what else to put with it. Shoes, bag, outerwear, accessories, nothing. Like nothing was immediately springing to mind. I think because like the skirt to me reads so autumn, winter and the top was just like all summer. It was just like, other than the colors, nothing was working. But then underneath my green crop top in the drawer was this black crop top. And I don't know what the name of this material is, but it's all like textured basically. And even though it is a crop top, because it's black and because of the texture of it, it fit well for me in terms of the like cohesiveness with the skirt. And as soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my God, I need my picture of a sun necklace. So that's where we were at. Then the tricky part was figuring out the rest of it. But as soon, as soon as I was like, oh, but what if I wear my brown boots, but without tights and then i remembered this jacket that was hanging right there like my face lit up i was like yes i did it <laughs> and then the red bag just to like bring back in all of the red elements i was too excited to do anything with my hair the hair is staying down and there is something about this outfit that feels like a bit more mature for me or like that elevated 
kind of style that I keep talking about that doesn't really feel very me. But this feels me, like I love this. I could also still wear like some fun patterned tights with it as well if it was a bit cold. I don't know, just because of the, the crop top vibes, but this jacket is actually really quite thick and warm. It's definitely not a winter jacket, but autumn and spring, it could work. I'm truly obsessed. Is this my favorite outfit? It just feels so put together to me. Like every part of this feels so intentionally and like I've properly crafted an outfit and I would never have done this. The real question is, is if I can find a, a day where the weather works <laughs> for this kind of outfit, because I'm feeling very warm in it right now. So yeah, it, I don't know how versatile it is in terms of weather, but it looks great. I think I could also do a bold red lip with this and that would look really cool, but onwards, the final item, the shorts. Right, here's the shorts. I just figured I'd keep this top on just to show you the shorts. I'm not sure what I'm thinking here, like how many variations of summer shorts and a top outfits can you actually do? I'm not sure. I mean, I do own a lot of different crop tops. So my first point of call is the crop tops. I mean, even the green one, the green one would be great here. But what's the rest of the vision? What is styling not wearing? I'm not sure yet. What is it? I don't know. Like, are these shorts even an item of clothing that I care to style? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Let me get back to you. Okay, so I've gone with my usual theme of just make the accessories red. I was looking through my crop tops and part of me was just like, no, Hannah, think outside the box. Don't go with a crop top. But I just, I couldn't not. But instead I went with the crop top that was like the least likely option for me that I would normally go for. I think because of the small amounts of green in it, I would have gone with the green one. But I actually put that on and I was like, not vibing. And then it was between like a, a cream vest top or a mustard vest top or a blue one. Mustard, too obvious. I would always do that. And then cream, again, that, was like another safe choice for me. And I don't think I would have ever thought to do blue. I don't know, but I guess it's the same theory as like the black top worked with the skirt that was predominantly black. And so I'm just doing the same here. But for some reason, like, I don't know, my brain wouldn't think of that as an option if it's not black, if it's like a different color. I don't know. Anyway, I saw this in my wardrobe. It's the headband I got to Disney bound as Snow White. And I was like, let's see what that looks like. And it definitely gives it a certain feel. It's a choice basically. And actually I quite like this choice. And then it just became really obvious to me to be like red belt, red bag. The only shame is the shoes, the sandals. And whilst they're definitely like comfy, like summer walking around all day, doing activities on holiday sandals, they're also waterproof. Like I could go in rivers and the sea in them and stuff, but it makes me sad that there's no red on them, but I could paint my toenails red. There we have it. There we have it. That doesn't involve buying anything new. Actually, I don't think I have any red nail polish, but it would involve going to the salon and paying somebody to paint my nails, which I'm more than happy to do. So yeah, there we have it. I'm actually really pleased with this. My cute little headband. Voila, et voila. So there we have it. I have styled, not just worn, some items of clothing. I did find moments of it hard, but then once I like pushed myself further through the like obvious choice for me, there were lots of fun things. There was lots of like things clicking into place and being like, oh my God, yes. I'm still not very pleased or proud of myself for the styling of that first one. I feel like we're just gonna count that one as like the warm up. But all of the others were great. Like actually like, I remember really liking the way that I styled this one, but now that I think about how I styled um, the orange dress and this, like I think these two are the clear like standout winners for me personally, not just in terms of like it being an outfit that I like, because I think I did like and would be more comfortable wearing the outfit I styled for this one over this one, but there was something about that outfit that was like special to me and different. Whereas this one still felt like quite safe. This one, what was that? What was that? 
I feel like I still need a little bit of help figuring out how to style that one. I think this one might have been the like winner winner. This was good. And then this one also nice. This outfit feels in the same category as the red dress one because it's like pushed slightly out of like my default styling but still very much in my comfort zone but the others were a bit more like experimental especially this one but that was so fun i highly encourage you to actually try and do something like this this originally started as like me being insecure about other people being better at styling clothes than me and actually has turned into a real confidence boost <laughs> and a really like fun creative experiment in terms of like wearing my clothes in different ways and pushing myself just like ever so slightly beyond like the first thing that I would grab. That's definitely like a principle I'm gonna take forward into dressing myself on a normal day. <laughs> just be like, okay, this is how I would normally put this outfit together. Just push it, just, just try a little bit harder, Hannah. But only obviously on days where I want to try a bit harder. But yeah, I've had a great time. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Do let me know in the comments what other kind of like fashion styling related videos that you would like to see. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.